everybody. My name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. Always one of my favorite three videos of the year is when I get to do a catalog unboxing. We have some kind of half um, favorite days when we do online exclusive, but nothing beats when as a demonstrator, you get your first new catalog order. Um, I know some of you won't buy nearly as much as I did in your first order, but I do want to show it to you. So let's there's never enough room on my desk. And instead of the traditional unboxing a couple of times ago, I decided I would take it all out. I haven't looked at anything. I've slid it all open to make that part go faster, but I wanna see it online with you. So uh, all I've done is slip. So I've seen things on top. Um, I haven't seen any of the dies or anything. So before we go, a couple of things that are not holiday catalog related. Um, one, my card club is up. For August, you have till the 10th to um, join that. It is online, so no matter where you are in the U.S., you can participate if you like. This is our first project. We do six cards, three of three designs, two of each. And then this year, I've been making a concerted effort to make sure that my envelopes match. Then this one just posted this morning. So if you're like, I haven't seen that yet, it's probably because it just went up. But this one, I have been using a lot of a new technique that I have been playing around with where I mixed my Wink of Stella with some glycerin. And here you can see that. So there is a DIY for that technique if you wanna go check that out. And then today's, I used the glycerin on this card to shimmer the card and shimmer all the paper. But then you can also use that same solution if you have dried up blender pens and to rejuvenate those and still be able to use them. Then also, with every new catalog, like as, as you look at all this stuff and you think, oh, I wish I could have all that stuff, I have the perfect class for you. So every new catalog, I do a try it class. And as the name implies, you get to try it. So this was the annual catalog, you get 10 videos in the PDF then that has um, all of the projects. So it has photos of them, it has the measurements, it has instructions, but I'm a video girl and so I like to walk you through everything. So we'll start with the 10 new papers. The cards are fun folds, they are templates, um, they're all things that you can use again. And what I will do when I'm done with this is I'm going to take one of my past PDFs, I've done this class now for years, um, and use something new and use an old template so you'll get to see an old project turned into new because that's what my hope is. So you can go to this video, learn all about my Try It class. It does fill and it's over half full now. Um, you can join my team. My team members get the class for free, including the supplies. So this is the first, vid this is an actual project. And then let me just say, I have all the sweets here. I didn't buy this one because I already had it. So if you go watch this video, you can see this sweet and see the paper the stamps, the folder, the embellishments, and the ribbons that all come with that. And then also in this order, I did get two kits. They are not in the hol holiday catalog. You can get them now. Um, so this first one, I think this is probably the haunted house. Yeah, it is. So I know some of you had asked, I think it's around $15, $18, and it makes a stand-up haunted house. Let me tell you, mine will be shimmered. <laughs> Can you use that shimmer solution? Because shouldn't a cute little haunted house be shimmery? And you can put a battery operated tea light inside of it to make it light up. So I'll be making that for you and I'll shimmer it so you can see that. That can be ordered now. I wouldn't be surprised if those, I don't know how many they ordered, hopefully thousands and thousands because I have a feeling that may sell out. So if you're like, oh, I really want that, get it now. If you have bonus bucks from last month, you can help use that. This is a new Christmas card kit. So if you still have some days at the lake, coming and you want to get a head start on your Christmas cards. It does come with stamps and inks. And then I want to show you the, the paper because um, I had somebody ask me if it was orange. And I think it's just kind of the way the light is. It may be Poppy Parade, which does have a tinge of orange to it. We will make this at my in-person camp this month, which I think is next week. So you get a block. You always get adhesives. You get two kinds of adhesives and look how beautiful these are. I love whenever we have these. So my daughter got married earlier this year and had these envelopes been an option, we would have had them, but we've sold them a few times. So here's the cards, not orange, but I think poppy. So pretty. So I'll, I'll put some of these together so you can see them. I might do just like one giant kit video. Um, my girlfriend has a 
Facebook channel that's dedicated just to kits. And I know she's going to be showing these today because hers are coming as well. So I think it's called Stampin' Up Kit Fan Club, maybe, on Facebook if you want to go see that. So now where do I start? Let's do, let's kind of mix it up, okay? So this one I'm going to start with because I am 90% certain that this More Than Autumn set will be my card club for September. I'm not sure what paper to put it with. Oh, look, I cut all these open. <laughs> it's always a giant mess on my floor after I get all this wrapping. But look, so this is super cute. We've got the pie, we've got the coffee, we've got all the fun words, and it can go into Christmas as well. It's got um, eggnog and peppermint and peppermint sticks, gingerbread. So it's got all that fun stuff, but look at these dies. We have a similar one that was nothing's better than it had like chocolate cookies and coffee maybe but this has the words coconut um, pumpkin apple season to be perfect for scrapbooking as well this says latte and coffee and then then nothing's better than so i love these dyes my husband won't love them quite so much because we'll have to cut them for september club in fact, I may actually end that one a little bit early because sign up for it, first time ever, but we're going on vacation in September, so we need to have it out the door early. Let's do a paper. This, they do, these are parts of sweets. I think almost all the papers are in a suite. So this one is called Splendid Autumn, but it was too much trouble for me to figure out because I do not have a hard copy of the catalog yet, so I don't know what exactly goes with what without pulling up my computer. So this is similar to a lot that we have had recently. Look at how beautiful that is of the fabulous nature scenes. And you can see this one is autumn. So if you're making Thanksgiving cards, I don't know if it'll work with this. It may be too realistic. I don't like to mix my styles. So as we keep looking, we'll look and see what's going to go with that paper. Then let's do this one is called Snowy Wonder. So you can see it has... Um, the house and the penguin. I love the penguin. The little snow caps. And as the name implies, I think this one is a snow globe. So as we get to the papers, you'll be like, oh, I think that must have gone with that. I also don't have a way to organize my desk. So you can see it makes a snow globe. And you can put this stuff inside of it. Super fun. So that is this one. Then let's do this. So in my Try It class, you get all the new, a card that features all the new papers. It'll have a new ribbon and new embellishment. And then scattered throughout, you get ones that have punches, folders, and new dies. So this is one of the shapes that we will use because it doesn't have to have a stamp. There's no stamping in that class. So really, it's very basic. You just need stuff to measure. Um, and fold and glue. So this one's called Peaceful Seasons. You can see it is a, sent a Christmas sentiment set. set. Mm, yeah, <laughs> so much for slitting those. I should have cut them as well so I could tear them. So this one again is Peaceful Season. If you see something that you want me to make a sample with in, the, in over the next week, so this one has the word Christmas. If you see something, put it in the comments. I was got, I'm distracted by the beautiful dyes. So it has the word Christmas. So a lot of these things will like happy and merry or um, keep Christmas, must say, in your heart. I was like, it says in the air. I think that's Christmas is in the air. But then it's got these really pretty banners too. I'm sure these will make an appearance in Card Club, even if we don't use the set. Then let's do this as a standalone set and it will be added to one of our card clubs maybe with this paper it's called shepherd's care so it has wonderful counselor prince of peace almighty god and i love this sentiment because while it's a christmas set it'll be perfect for your sympathy cards it says he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds this is probably my favorite set in the catalog last year we had the nativity one and i did a big class but there wasn't anything really that works with a big class but I have a little bit of time to think about it because I can't do my big class in September because I've got the try it and I have club and then we have vacation so these are gold dipped 
cards and envelopes. Everything's better dipped in gold, right? So you can see, I think there's three colors. Here's the envelopes with that gold dipping. And then here are the cards. And as always, if you want more cards, then you can always cut them in half and use these for card fronts and have double the amount. Only half your people, your favorite people are gonna get the envelopes, but that would double the amount of actual gold dip fronts you could have. Then let's do, this one does not have anything with it, but I just couldn't stand it because of the tiny little puppy, the tiny little cake thing, little flowers. So it's super cute and I love the sunshine and smiles. So this will probably be one I use. I like to use some of the autumn stuff right away. Because by the time when you guys can start ordering from this on September 6th, you need to know what you want. So this paper is, is the season of elegance. It's beautiful. It could maybe work. Let's see what the other side's. Yeah, I think this might work for our card club. What do you think? Because we could do, see, this is how I think. We could do some Christmas cards. We could do the pumpkin cards. Then we have some maybe gingerbread, cocoa. So it's really pretty. And I like the non-gold side, especially if you're going to mix it with, I mean, I always love gold. Gold's my go-to side every time. Um, but if you're going to use it with a cutesy stamp set, well, we might use that. We might find a way to make it work. Then here's another. I just, I saw this and I was like, oh, I have to color that. It needs to be colored in. It's just a standalone set, the Yuletide Village. How cute would that be on those gold dipped cards? Let's do a couple of ribbons because this one I have just been dying to open up. We kind of like this to make this one work with the pumpkin spice thing but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it goes with. Isn't that fabulous? It is pom-pom ribbon. You think it's, is it pool party? Yep. Pool party pom-pom ribbon. And then you could mix it with this ribbon. This is just red and white Baker's twine. Perfect for every um, Christmas. And then these also go with it. It is the real red and white adhesive backed peppermints those fun and then let's do these two while we're on this little kick these are some shaker things white loose snowflakes tiny 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 little snowflakes can you see them sometimes because i stand when i do this my camera angle is always not perfectly adjusted so if things are fading in and out it's not my intention well look this goes together right now from my first pass through the catalog and um, without having played with anything if you're in card club, I think this will be, and assuming it doesn't go out of on back order, I think this will be October club. So it's called Regal Flora. And it's got real, oh, although this could maybe work also. <laughs> no, we'll save it and do the whole suite. I was gonna say it could work with those cards. Oh, look at this. I could, um, wallpaper my studio in this color. Wild Wheat's my favorite. I'm going to be sad when it's gone. I know some of y'all hate it, but I love Wild Wheat. So there's the Regal Flora paper, and then here's the Regal Flora stamp set. And then here are the dies. I'm looking at the ribbon. I would like to show you which ribbon goes with it and which embellishments, but I don't really know. So maybe I'll just guess. Maybe I'll guess because sometimes when we do something like card club, something's not available. So I have to substitute anyways. So I love the stamp set. You know, if all, I can't have too many flowers, literally. Um, but this piece right here is very different. And when you see the samples in the catalog, I love that piece. So because it was one of the ones I was like, do I get the whole suite or do I just get the the non-bundle part, but I went for the whole suite. I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and say that perhaps this ribbon, maybe not, because there's also a Blackberry one back there and I see there's Blackberry in this paper. So I'm gonna say maybe also the Blackberry, we'll do both. The Blackberry could have gone with that first paper, the autumn six by six size. So this is textured ribbon. I'm sure it's Blackberry. Yeah, Blackberry Bliss. So there's that ribbon. I don't know. I see two other. All of the ribbons appear that they could go with this paper. So if we do this for Card Club 
and the ribbon's not available, we'll be good to go because look at this one. The ribbons in this catalog knock your socks off. I mean, all of them. And even the twine that was in the video that I've already done. This one right here. This goes with those birds that I'm not going to show you because I already have it. But those colors are fabulous. I just love the colors of fall. It's shaded spruce ribbon. Oh, look. You could just wrap all your gifts in plain craft paper this year and tie them up with these ribbons and be good to go. Okay, this is when I start perhaps having stuff fall off the side of my table because... So this is reindeer days. I'm pretty sure that the stamp set that's on top, there's two reindeer papers, but it looks like it's this one. So this is the paper. So the good thing when I do my triad class, because uh, like I said, there's no stamping, but so many of our papers have images like this that either they likely cut out with dyes. I haven't really had a time to look at any of them yet. Obviously, I'm just showing you. So here is this paper. But when we do the cards, because there's so much imagery that we can cut out, you don't have to stamp. Of course, I love to stamp and I love to color them in. Oh, that's fun. I would say this ribbon is probably the red and white twine. And then here is the stamp set. See, these, those are super cute and they'll work perfect for a triad class, but I can't wait to color these little girls in. Aren't they the sweetest? And then here are the dies. And yes, they still don't open. So reindeer, fun. Long time ago when my daughter was teaching and when she was a oh, luck <laughs> when she was working in retail and not in high finance she would be here with me for this and so it was a lot more fun to have a reaction with somebody you know she also cleaned up all this stuff she would open it off to the side while i was showing y'all but those days are no more <laughs> So now let's do these because I can't wait to use these. These are woven golden leaves. So they're kind of like mesh and gold. Some of the stuff when you're a demonstrator, you get to see little sneak peeks and they showed us that. Then this is Regal Distressed Patterns. I think it's an add-on to a suite. You know how some of our suites have a specialty paper that goes with the regular paper. So it's not double-sided. It goes with. So we have the red check, the white check, and then that really pretty peacock wintry pattern. And then here is another one that is just a paper. A festive 12 by 12 glimmer. So not all these specialty papers make it into um, Hard club, my, I mean, try it class. My goal is to have you have as many papers in your hand as you can so you can see both sides of them. But then my cards would be horribly gaudy. <laughs> so I try to make them so it's pretty and you get to see as much as possible. So sometimes these get left off because they're not part of an actual suite. But I try. I try to make as many things work as I can. So let's do, I told you I have a lot and we're about two thirds done. Christmas labels. Again, a bunch of winter words. Swedish sugar plum can candy. I like the peace on earth. Hope your season is, season is filled with magic. So that's cute, right? We all have some Christmas words and I have plenty of Christmas words. I could celebrate Christmas every day for several years and not reuse any of my words, but I really wanted these. And you know, in girl math, once you're gonna get just the dies, you might as well save the money and get the stamps too, right? But look how much fun these are. Look at that little swirly. So can't wait to use those. Those would be pretty, I think, with that glimmer paper. And then the middle part ran through again. Maybe on my DIY shimmer with the words on top. So that's Christmas labels. Yeah, I'll try to get as... I, wait, I have way too many stamps <laughs> to use them all before the catalog goes live. That's why if you see something and you want me to use it, you need to tell me. And then this is Sentimental Wishes. I love this one because I am a sucker for vintage Christmas. My house, I collect vintage decorations. I especially love like that 30s to 60s time frame. And this goes with that. 
I will pull out the paper because I think, uh, no, I thought maybe I knew which of the paper was, but maybe I don't because I think unless it's in the catalog twice, it may be. Let me see what the name of it is. And then here are the dies. I have no idea what these are because they're little. They're petite. When my daughter was little, she would say those were American girl sized. <laughs> so they just cut out the images. There's no, um, nothing to cut out the words. Because, you know, back in the day, they didn't have dots, right? Let me see if, uh, no, I'm not going to show you because I left my favorite paper. It was on the bottom when I took it out. And um, it's my favorite. So we'll wait till we get down there. Let's do a couple more of these. Obviously, some autumn ones, some faux glass dots. There's another color under there, maybe beige. I love that we have beige now. And these are my favorite. That's sparkly. Druzy adhesive back embellishment. Hmm. I wonder what druzy means. Anybody know? D R U S Y. Druzy. Must be whatever that um, texture is. Then let's do peaceful evergreens. Some of these, you know, I'm like, I have lots of evergreen sets, but when you, it's so much easier to just order a whole suite. So, and as demonstrators, we can earn product credits. So lest you think I paid for all of this, I did not. In fact, I didn't pay for much of it, which is one of the huge perks of being a demonstrator. Not just all, I mean, you have to, you have to work to get those. So here is the dies are the dies that go with this. Then there is, let me see what this is called. Painted Trees 3D. I don't know if it goes with that or not. It's not a hybrid, but it may coordinate. I'm not sure. I can't, don't have my catalog. Can't, can't consult it. Let's that. We are getting there though. Then let's do these. Are these wild wheat? It just says gold. Gold textured back. And then these, look how fabulous these are. So if you just watched, I've buried all my cards. If you watched this video, I used the Petal Pink and Peacock foiled gems. These would be Regal foiled gems. So they're the same as what I used on there. They're just in some new colors. So that is all of the embellishments. Let's do, there's one more stamp set. Let's, gotta get, it's like Christmas morning. Who still has the most things left? We have more paper. So here is a little bit festive. Oh, it's one of these. So those are all gonna pop out. Have some frames. Oh look, you could even use that in the summer. If you still have stuff left, that's a great summer piece. So that is not part of, it may be part of a sweep. I don't think I got it all. If it was, I think I just got this, but it may be standalone paper or it may go with uh, um, all the other little pop-outs, which I didn't get because I don't use those in triad class. I would have to up the number of projects and then up the cost. So obviously this here goes with the snow globe paper that we, I mean, stamp set that we saw earlier. And again, see how and try it. I try to do this without thinking of projects. I can't look at this stuff and in the back of my head. People ask me how I can stamp so many things every week and that's why because my head doesn't turn off. And obviously the little um, peppermint things look like they might go with this. Maybe not. Maybe the maybe this. I don't usually do two Christmas things and we already did kind of did a Christmas thing for card club but that's kind of winter too right. That's super cute. It's one cuter in person. I love this. That's kind of a 50s vintage. But sometimes I might not get something just if it was me, but then I get it all because I try it class. And then I'm like, oh, I'm glad I got that because it's super cute. Two more ribbons and I have buried my scissors. And I'm going to like this one because it's wild wheat. Obviously it goes with the fall paper. It looks like it might go with, oh, isn't that pretty? It's see-through. It would go with our little pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, wild wheat rustic striped ribbon. Super pretty. And then here, again, this could go with the regal one. I don't know what goes with what. It's too hard. And I most, and one time I tried stacking up all this stuff 
um, in sweet things. I don't have enough room to do it this way. And when I had all the sweets, then I just laid on top and then I didn't even show y'all everything because stuff got buried. So this also has some gold. It is cherry cobbler and gold. Satin ribbon. And then a couple more of these over here and then we'll get to my favorite paper. So this one is Autumn Expressions. You guys are gonna love this. It does go, I know because we saw this. So this one, it may be this ribbon. Um, it goes with those leaves, the mesh leaves. It goes with the realistic looking autumn paper. So you see, this is beautiful. All of it's beautiful, but wait till you see these. These are so super cool. And I would do these for card club, except my husband would not. Cause I, for card club, we cut out all the dies for you and he would have a fit. <laughs> because when you see these dies and you have to have the dies to do it. I mean, maybe I could convince him, but only one card could have this. So this you can see is one piece together. So this, you cut it out, you put your paper or your stamped thing in between it, clip them together and it makes a little hanging um, picture. And then it's got the little chain that you can hang in. So I guess I could run it through and then ask him, you wanna do 200 of those? So we'll see, but it's beautiful. And it does go with that autumn paper, I do know that. And then we have um, Forever Plaid 3D embossing folder. We have these little gift boxes, which are book treat boxes. And then we have my favorite paper. Is it called Sentimental Christmas? I don't think it, I don't think that's what went with what I thought it was. Oh, maybe. Let's go back just because I love this. If you hear everything crash down, it is sentimental wishes. So it goes with this. Ah, oh, so pretty. I just, I have lots of vintage deers. You know, once upon a time, you could go to garage sales and look on eBay and get all this stuff. And I've kind of collected mine before it became a thing because now this stuff's so expensive. But look, you can have it in paper. Oh my goodness. Well, this is just stunningly beautiful. And I really wanted to use the shepherd. <laughs> my Christmas cards but oh my goodness this is fabulous is that not fabulous so this may be the suite that I will take and um do just because I can't wait to play with it I told myself you'll do an autumn one when I do the little try it class flip but how can you say no to these little girls and I like it because the deer aren't on in the stamp set so I don't have to worry about coloring them I love the color combination it's very very um 1940s. So there you go. Let me know what was your favorite. Let me know what you want me to, to use. I can, I'll probably do two. I still have to do regular stuff. I have my in-person camp coming up and they don't want to use all this stuff. Um, but let me know what you want to see. And I'm happy to try to add that to the order of my rotation. So if it's this, you're in luck because it will be first. Have a great one guys. Bye.